This is a tutorial on how to make a sample movie using a Movie Maker. First, uh, before you edit the movie, you need an editing note so that you could visualize the end product. And here is a sample of it. You can see it has title, main body, and end title. So we are going to follow this editing note and make a movie. Now here is the main interface of Movie Maker. What I need to do is to insert uh, raw videos. Select all the videos and drag it to the right panel. It may take a while for the system to cache the video, so you need to wait for a while. Okay, after a long, long while, um, all the um, uh, videos are already uh, caged. So now it's already here. All videos are here. But I need to first uh, sequence each video. I hover over here. It's part 4. So I drag it to here. Part 4. This is part 1, part 2, part 3. OK, excellent. So I review the um, um, editing note. Part 1 from 1 minute 38 seconds to 13 minutes 44 seconds. Now I'm double click here. Now it's go. OK, let me make it larger. Here is a trim tool. So I move it to 1 minute 33 second, something around here. Maybe a little less. Maybe here, I set start point. Here is, oh, 1 minute 38 second. Okay. I set start point here. And this word should be so our topic is on linear motive motion. Let's hear it. Okay, yep, this is the one. So I intentionally leave some leave some seconds, maybe one or half a second ahead. The purpose of doing this uh, is because when you add transitions, your video at the beginning will not overlap with the previous video. So I set start point and it was just the way it is. And I set end point 30 minutes and 44 seconds. 44 seconds. Hold on. Here, 44 seconds. Maybe over here, I said end point. Mm, it's to find the square of the period of pendulum. Mm. Okay, this is the one. Then I save trim and I do the second one. Zero 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 to zero four four. Trim two to zero four four. Let's see. No less than three quarter of the graph paper. Okay, something like right here. All right. Third one, there are two pass reads, so I have to copy another one, paste. Now, for the first section, 16 second to 30 second. which is the first person to draw the graph. 
Okay. Looks like it is the one. And 30 seconds. Okay, something like here. No worries, students are working, walking up the stairs. That's right. Stream. Fourth one. Okay, now in order to save time, I already I've already cut the all four uh, parts of the videos. So it's now following this. Um, editing notes already so um, I am good firstly I'm going to add transitions between each place here say you could see it this is a little too sudden so here under animation I choose this one and now you find here there is a mark under the second one I would like this transition to apply to all so it looks like it has a smooth fading but this only applies to video fade in and fade out so I also like audio fade in and fade out so I select this find edit fading maybe fast fade out fast the second one fading fast fade out fast third fading fast fade out fast um, okay fading fast fade out fast fifth one fading fast fade out fast so now let's preview it looks like it's sudden let's try this now the transition is much smooth and now you've already uh, make uh, finish making the main movie so the next one I'm going to add some sub uh, beginnings and endings so um, I use the beginning and ending you use the same clip so it's about 10 seconds I copy it paste it takes a while now I finish making it I move it to the end so also I use the same effect so it's, uh, it looks like this and this one also use uh, this effect so so now I have a very cool be beginning and this one is 10 seconds and I would prefer it to about maybe 8 seconds and this one also 8 seconds as well Oops, sorry. and the movie is almost done 
and I add uh, some opening music. I would prefer. I don't like to drag music over here. I like to go to the cursor, which I want to add music from the place at the current point. So I find a piece of music. Add to the current point, so it's too long, and I have to double click it, put something over here, make it the end point, uh, set end point, and make the fade down medium and fading maybe fast okay let's preview it maybe i could move the end point a little bit maybe it become Sorry, 10 seconds. And then I can see where I can copy this paste over here. Excellent. So, beginning and ending is finished. And what I need to do is put the title and put the end title. Kenya High. I copy this. And here, from this point, I add the caption. Uh, I would like to move it to the beginning. Enter test here. There will be a place for you to enter. You put the test over here, and now it's like this. And text duration becomes because the beginning is seven seconds, so I make it like this. Add an effect showing it slowly uh, fading fade out and preview it perfect then also do the same at the end okay here in order to save time I've already done so back to here let me see from here. And fill out. Oh, now it's excellent. Now there is a problem that um, once this is end, there is not a fade out, so it suddenly end, it will end so suddenly that it looks unprofessional. So I guess this is a design bug for Movie Maker. It doesn't provide any uh, option for me to fade out the videos. So maybe and you would like to try if you could find it but i couldn't find it so um what i do is add a black screen after that and transition make a transition and this is how i make a black screen i open the paint 
program select black save it to the place I save it to the place and then I found this I closed it I drag it at the end of the video and of course make an animation for this uh, this one and the length of it duration of it click the black fa frame duration make it to one second and now it looks very professional so uh, the movie is uh, almost finished so what you do is to make a preview of it to see whether this is what you want in comparison with the editing notes and now it's I could preview all of them and I notice here there is some overlap the music has an end but the video has is beginning to talk so I will sometimes you know make some adjustment on this and maybe I change the spot point back a little bit and click save trim and see how it comes now it looks better so I keep reviewing this and make sure your all the all the lines and everything is just what you want and I after it finish I have to save the movie um, this one as you can see is a widescreen so I set the project as widescreen and when I output the movie this originally this is 720p and I can once I save movie there are a lot of choice here but what um, I think this is too large I select Windows Phone large maybe A54 by 480 I guess it's good enough for me so I just use this I save it under my movie maybe Kenya cam just to make sure now it's outputting saving the movie it may take a while so sit back and take a cup of tea wow after a long wait the video is finished so I can play it or open the folder it's under here my pictures and you could now preview it looks fine so th uh, this is the case study of how to make a short movie thanks for watching this tutorial is built on this version of Movie Maker under Windows 7 operation system.